Hello, my name is Jeremy Banks. I'm the MeasureLink and Data Management Sales Specialist for Meditelli America. In this video, I'm going to show you how to collect data using MeasureLink Real-Time Pro. So now we're going to use Real-Time Pro to collect data. In this example, I'm going to be using my coupling. So let's say that I manufacture couplings and periodically that I want to check them for conformance. When I check them, I'm going to check them for inside diameter, outside diameter, and length. These first three dimensions are what we're going to call variables. We're going to use a gauge to measure these parts, expecting a numerical result. That answer is going to be a variable. I'm also going to check the part for thread condition, plating condition, chips, slivers, and hit marks. These dimensions are not variables. I'm not expecting a number. I'm expecting pass or fail, maybe a number of defects. So these types of characteristics are going to be called attributes. The first three, inside diameter, outside diameter, and length, are going to be variables. And the last five, thread condition, plating condition, chips, slivers, and hit marks, are going to be attributes. Now I'm going to check these at the same time. Uh, for convenience, I'm going to check my variables first and my attributes last. But if I wanted to, I could mix these in in any sequence. To check the variables, I'm going to use a set of calipers. Uh, so that I don't have to type the data into the computer, I'm going to use a USB input tool to collect the data. A USB input tool is a one-piece cable that will connect the gauge to the computer through a USB connection. This allows me to just hit the data button on the cable and then that will transfer the data directly to the computer. So now I'm going to collect data for our inside diameter. I have a part in hand, I have the caliper. I'm going to go ahead and measure the part. The value displayed on the caliper is 1950. I'm satisfied with this measured value. I'm going to hit the data button on the USB ITN. When I hit the button, the data is automatically transferred from the caliper into the software. I can see here in inside diameter, under last observation, the value measured was 1950, so 0.1950 inches. My pre-control chart is automatically updated. I have a time and date stamp, as you can see on the screen. My histogram with my running CP and CPK is updated as well. The software automatically increments to my next characteristic. So I'm done measuring inside diameter. Next to be measured is outside diameter. So I'm going to rotate the part. The operator does not need to touch anything on the computer. The software automatically increments for him. With the part rotated and measured, I'm going to go ahead and hit the data button on the cable. It measured 0.4615. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure length. Now that length is measured, my collect attribute dialog screen appears. Thread condition is my first attribute. I'm going to go ahead and inspect the threads. If I had a threaded go no go, I could use that. The threads are fine, so I'm going to hit the letter P on the keyboard for pass, and then I'm going to hit enter. Now it says plating condition is the next attribute to be checked. The plating is fine, there are no burns. I'm going to hit pass as well. Now I'm checking for chips in the through hole. There are no chips, that's a pass. Those first three attributes were set to be pass or fail. They're either going to be good or bad. The next two attributes I've set to number of defects for variety. Um, I inspect the part for thread slivers. There are no slivers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit zero as my number of defects. And now it comes up with hit marks. Hit marks is the set the same way. I'm going to have zero defects as well. Hit marks is my eighth characteristic. So this is going to be the last dimension I'm going to check for part number 10. As soon as I hit enter, I finish measuring part number 10, and I'm now ready to measure part number 11. If an operator is comfortable with the sequence of the routine and he's comfortable with his caliper, he could quickly go through the measurements for part number 11, as I'm going to do now. I'm going to measure inside diameter, outside diameter, length, the attribute dialog comes up. I'm going to go ahead and hit P for th passing threads, pass for plating condition, pass for chips in the through hole. I have zero defects for the slivers and zero defects for the hit marks. So now I've quickly measured part number 11. All the operator has to do is use the caliper with the USB input tool to collect data from the variable characteristics and use the keyboard to go through the attribute.